All right guys, so here's the new enclosure for the dermal boa. It's basically just a four foot um, by two by three. And it's coming out of, I think a 32 quart tub. I've had this dermal since it is since it's been a hatchling. So it's time for much bigger enclosure. So what I did, I put a hide in here for it because it most likely is gonna be a little stressed out being in this much bigger enclosure. I just lay down liners um, and that's what he's been on. These are ground boas, Madagascar ground boas. Uh, so they, they're a little bit messier than your normal boas, like the Colombians, the red tails. These guys seem to drop more urate uh, than the other boas. Um, that's what I've noticed. And I think it's just because they drink a lot more water. So you just got to keep, I got a nice big bowl of water in here for it. These guys constantly have to have fresh water. Um, very good eater. And she's, like I said, I've had this, uh, this is the female dermal that be going in this cage. And I've had this girl since it was a hatchling. Got it off BHB Reptiles in 2016. So it's definitely ready for a change. Let's get her in. All right, guys, so she's in. Kind of cruising around, checking things out, but you can see that she definitely needs this much bigger tub, close, pretty much five feet long now. Really sweet snake on top of everything else. These dermarils seem to be more docile than any other of the boas. I also have a male and I plan on breeding these guys. I'd like to breed probably the end of this year. I'll start pairing them in uh, October. And she's actually just about ready to get in shed. She, just, she ate about two days ago. I feed this um, female medium rats. Love the pattern. I mean, you find these on the forest floor, you won't even be able to see them. I mean, I know it just looks like leaves almost. The color, everything about them. And this one has some orange highlighting on it. The male's much darker. And I'll actually do another video the male is in shed right now and once he comes out of shed I will feed him and then put him in its new enclosure right below this one but again these guys drink a lot more water I've noticed than your normal uh, boas Patterns on the head are really cool too. But you can see too, not defensive at all. These are just really sweet snakes. They do really well on the paper, but like I said, uh, because these guys drop a lot more urate, I might be doing a lot more cleaning because of the paper, but that's all right because I actually, on these liners in here, I use two halves. I use two 25 by 25. You can see the split right there barely, but they fit perfect crease on the end. So if she does make a mess on one side, I only need to change one side of the cage rather than the whole liner. Makes it a lot easier. And this stuff is pretty absorbent too. So it works really well. And I'm, uh, I'm curious to see if uh, she does go in the hide. My other boas do. The big boas, they love going in the hide. So I'll be curious to see if this uh, female want to do the same thing. But just beautiful snake. So 
that, that pattern on the head is amazing. And just how the pattern even goes into the eyeball. I mean, it's just camouflage. These snakes have camouflage that are just unreal uh, from any other boa. Because they pretty much match the forest floor. But it's really important to keep fresh water all the time for these guys because they do drink a lot. Beautiful snake. Can't wait to breed these. I'm so hoping that uh, I get babies from these guys. So if anybody's interested in some derm rolls, I should have I'm hoping some by uh, beginning of next year because they're at age, they're at the right age, right size. Really good health. I most likely will start increasing the food the end of this summer. Right now I just feed her once a week. Uh, same with the male. Alright guys, I will talk to you later.